Hey, uh, in this video I thought it would be cool to take the concrete part from the scene within the Next Gen Texture DVD and reduce its poly count using various bits of software. Now for the production of the low poly asset in this scene, Ricky used Polygon Cruncher to automatically reduce parts of the model. The Polygon Cruncher is a really really cool little program. Uh, it's available in Max 2010 or all the previous versions of Max. It's also available for Lightwave. Uh, if you don't have Max or Lightwave, um, you can get a 3D Photo Browser. Um, they have a version that's available that has Polygon Cruncher with it uh, and it is $129. The plugin is also $129. Um, so it's all good there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open up um, our model. Now what all I've done basically is I've taken away the fence and the rebar on the ground and the wood and all that. Uh, and we're still left with this beautiful piece of concrete here. Now the face count is pretty high. It's a uh, almost 500,000 faces so what we've got to do is we go to Polygon Cruncher and there we have it inside Polygon Cruncher now if you don't have UVs uh, to worry about um, all you have to do is hit Compute Scene Optimization now one of the great things about Polygon Cruncher is that you have this little slider here which is a real-time preview you just move the slider and um, the polygon count will reduce automatically and you can see it update here but what we're going to do is we're just going to type in 2000 faces and there we have our optimized model so we're just going to go and save this I'm going to call it concrete polygon cruncher 2k okay now if you haven't got UVs to worry about you click uh, make sure this is on uh, you want to keep the faces and then keep patches and just click OK. Now it's saved. We can exit out of Polygon Cruncher. And uh, if you don't want to use Polygon Cruncher, um, there's a really, really cool bit of software called MeshLab. Now uh, this is free. It's a GNU program um, and it has some really, really, really cool features. Um, the polygon reduction on this is top notch, so uh, we're going to chuck it into there and see what we can get. So here's the scene. See, nothing's changed, it's exactly the same amount of faces. Now, all you have to do to reduce the polygon count is go to filters and then go to quadric edge collapse decimation. I know it's a bit of a mouthful, but it gets easier. Um, and all you want to do here is you want to make sure that these two uh, are checked and click. 2000 faces and have the quality at 1 and then click apply ok and close that and there we have our optimized model and as you can see it's done a pretty good job now I'm just going to save this out I'm going to call it concrete mesh lab 2k and then just click ok now I'm going to go into blender I'm going to import So first we're going to open the Polygon Cruncher one and click all these off, import, and then we're going to go to import again, and then import the MeshLab version. Okay, now we're going to select both of these, I'm going to export them, I'm going to call it Concrete optimized. Okay, we want to keep the rotate on, edges, materials, UVs off, selection only. We want it in groups. Click export. Okay, now it's done. You can open it up in 3D Photo Browser. As you can see, this is the Polygon Cruncher version, and uh, this is the Mesh Lab version. Now they've both done really, really good jobs, but in this case, I think that MeshLab's done a better job because if you notice on the Polygon Cruncher version, um, all it's got lots of little triangles that are really odd around the mesh and lots of little bits. Whereas the MeshLab version, all the polygons are pretty evenly spaced by a couple of places. So don't be afraid to use it. 
Uh, if you can't afford or don't want to use Polygon Crunchy, then MeshLab is a really, really good alternative.